All right, so today we're gonna take this ugly leftover piece of myrtle and we're gonna turn it into something really beautiful. And I hope you'll stick around because we're gonna turn this into this. Hey guys, this morning we're gonna go look at the old sawmill and we're gonna be getting a new sawmill in, which is exciting. We'll start out by picking out a piece of wood that we're gonna mill today. And I'm not sure what we're gonna mill yet. We'll kind of meander through here and see if anything catches my eye. I've got pistachios in here. There's, they're not much to look at. People are asking for really big lumber in these things, and it might be about a foot in diameter. So we'll get little, maybe a foot long, foot and a half long pieces out of those. Pistachio is really pretty. Can't keep it in stock, it just sells out like that. Um, there's a big maple, quilted maple log over there. A run over log here. Got a little icy last night. That's pretty. Well, there's a chunk of myrtle wood that that actually looks pretty interesting. I think I'll get the log loader and pull that one out of here. All right, so I'm going to grab that chunk of myrtle that I saw. If I can get up here alive, really slippery. Should be able to see out of that. Credit card, window. Works every time. <laughs> All right. Try this again. Wow, that's gonna be really pretty. So this is the myrtle that we're gonna put on the mill here and cut up a little bit. And you can see the nice golden colors with the black and some gray and the sapwood. It's gonna be really pretty. I can see some compression curl. This is the stump cut. So it's part of the first log off of, or part of the first part of the tree above the stump, above the ground. And it's gonna have a lot of this compression curl, which you can see these lines that are going this way. Really nice stuff. There's probably five to seven of those lines for every inch in, in length in that wood. And that's gonna be really pretty. So it'll look three-dimensional and it plays some nice optical illusions on your eyes and looks super cool. So we'll get that up on Slabzilla. We're just gonna kind of break it down into smaller pieces and then we're gonna put it on the 300 in there and show you what it does best. So this is Slabzilla, it's our large mill. We've got two maple pieces up there right now. We're gonna get end cuts that are gonna make cookies, I'd say between 18 to 
30 inches wide. So they should be pretty nice. They were up here this morning. They're here, so I'm just gonna cut them. And I'm gonna clamp the last one down at the end here. It's that piece that we just loaded on, the myrtle. Let's see if we can get it on. All right. It's Friday. I can have as much coffee as I want, right? Guys, a little closer. I want to pull that over and like ran. There's not. So we're starting to get some of the nice stuff cut off of that. See what we've got. I guess we'll start out with the maple since we're already here. All right. So the top one, pretty much, generally they're garbage because they're going to have splits from drying out a little bit. So, see, there you go. If it can't survive a fall that's three, four feet, it's never going to survive drying and getting surfaced and getting shipped to a customer. So we actually intentionally drop our lumber and see, that one made it. It's got a little bit more burl in it, a lot more solid. So that'll turn out good. We'll get through these. I think I'm gonna put my earmuffs back on. That's kind of loud. Yep. All right, that one looks a little bit more solid. We'll cut those up and use them for bulb blanks and stuff like that. Okay, that one made it. So they're not a total loss. And this is what we were trying to cut this morning. Oh, wow, that's pretty. So it's kind of like a rainbow colored myrtle burl. We'll get some water and show that off in a little bit here. But we'll get through a couple of these and we'll take it to the 300 and get some nice quarter sawn out of it. I think we got one more, is that it? Okay, so that's the piece we're gonna take over to the 300. So typical of the big myrtles, you're gonna get rot down the center. In this case, the white stuff is soft-ish. It's actually pretty solid. Then you get a really dark chocolatey brown. And that's what gives it the color, which is really pretty. Lots of fiddle back in here, that three-dimensional wave that goes this way. It's like a ripple through the wood like that. A little bark incursion here. That'll be a nice coffee table for somebody. Have to clean up the edges a little bit, make it a little smoother, take the bark off. There's some burl in here. Lots of color contrast. I mean, that's just, that's just a beautiful board. So exciting day. We're getting in some of the new equipment that we ordered for the building expansion. I don't know where I'm gonna put it because the building isn't done yet, but this is a computerized defect saw. What it does is you can take a lumber or a board and you can feed it into this 
You can mark little knots and things like that with the plastic crayon that doesn't actually leave a mark on the wood, but the computer eye sees it and it automatically cuts out the defects. You can also program it to cut like 12 inch lengths or three foot lengths or whatever length you want. It'll go through, look at the board and it cuts it to optimize it. So it's really gonna speed up the process. I hope my guys really like this, Marco, because it's gonna make their life much better. So we got the chunk of myrtle wood into the 300. The 300 specializes in these smaller, chunkier pieces. Does a lot better job than Slabzilla, which is set up for really pretty big stuff. Limiting factor on the 300, we've got 27 inches between the guides. I don't know if you can see that too well in the back, but 27 inches, that's about right there. And the new 2000 will do 36, which is here. Most of our logs are are either the right size or they're a little bit too big. And there's a lot of logs that I end up putting on Slabzilla to break down a little bit that the new 2000, I won't have to break them down, I can bring them straight in and mill them. So the end result, I can cut more wood with less cost and carry that on to the consumer, which is, which is good for everybody. So let's go ahead and cut this guy up and see what comes off of it here. So this is the gauge of my day. We've got myrtle on the bottom of the pile. We've got big leaf maple, clara walnut, the dark black seam or brown seam, and then topped off with some more myrtle wood. All right, so I cut some, cut some slices off of there and we're just gonna go and take a look and see what it looks like. So there we go. Really nice myrtle wood, super dark. We've let it age for a little while in the yard and we've got these beautiful fiddleback waves that go through there. And we got some tiger myrtle kind of colors in here going on, a little bit of burl down there. Just spectacular wood. It's gorgeous. That's why I like my job. I come in here and every day I get to see just beautiful creation, just spectacular stuff that I'm the first person to ever look at this. And that's just special.